actively around the country and have been quite critical of the governor of Texas and were skeptical of him. And uh, by the end of the first six months or so, most of them were supporters and advocates for for uh, uh, there's our we've updated our electoral scorecard. What is going? On? We are going to make this decision now. The Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election that we have ever seen. This candidacy starting on an escalator ride one year ago and going down against 16 Republican candidates. What started off as unlikely, impossible, is now reality. He said he was always a winner. This did not come without controversy. The billionaire, entrepreneur, TV reality star has defeated the candidate once figured to be undefeatable. Besting Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in an electoral college victory that virtually no one saw coming a year ago. A few months ago, a week? even a month ago, <laughs> even yesterday, and a path to victory that was unlike anything we've ever seen. It did not come without controversy. It did not come without splitting this country in some of the most divisive language. It does come now at a time where his supporters say, this is the evidence that Washington was not working. They wanted to kick over the table and do something different. You know, he told me once that he had a conversation with Melania when he was considering running about whether he should do it. And she looked at him and said, you know if you do it, you're going to win. Right. Right? right. And he, you know, he, he understood that as well. And there have been moments over the course of the campaign where it's been tough on both of them. Melania too. And it requires so much sacrifice, especially for a family like the Trumps, which is very successful, have their own business. I mean, for most of us, it would be an upgrade moving to the White House. <laughs> um, oh, it's an upgrade. And it, it's absolutely an upgrade. But I, I'm just saying, he has a, he, as he said all along, he didn't have to do this. He's, this got a, he's got a lovely life and a lovely lifestyle, a lovely family, right where he is. And this, was, this required a lot of guts by Donald Trump. And boy, did it pay off for him tonight. Chris Wallace, this will go down as probably as the greatest political upset we've ever seen certainly that I've ever seen in my lifetime. And I have to say, you know, it, it was, it seemed like it was inevitable all night, but as I look around Studio F here and I see it, Donald Trump wins presidency, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I, I ju I, it just is stunning to me that, that he has won the presidency. It's extraordinary. And look at the crowd outside that has waited here for hours and hours. 2.43 a.m. Feeling thrill. To get this call. <laughs> it was the worth the wait. They're clearly feeling. But look at the enthusiasm, which is something we saw from the beginning. And look, we all pointed out that crowd size don't so they, they don't necessarily translate to vote, voters. We saw that with Mitt Romney. But in this election, there's but no doubt could. about it, they did. And we, we do have word that Hillary Clinton called Donald Trump to concede. Huh. Monica, yeah. you knew from early age, early start of this campaign that he had tapped into something. Uh, and it was simple, the Make America Great Again. Despite anything else that he said, he came back to that line that is embossed on hats around America. You know, for those of us who live and work in Manhattan, I often say, this is not normal. And when you go to the rest of the country and you really talk to the American people about what concerned them, about the issues that, that, that were dictating their votes this year, you understood that there was a massive groundswell against the bipartisan ruling class and that Donald Trump is the ultimate outsider.